have not made a brain video in quite a while. Rather, I've made dumb videos. Fun videos. Anyways, okay, so I had to rush home. The worst, you know, when you're in, you're driving and you come up with a great idea and be like, oh my god, I'm going to get in an accident because I seriously wanted to pull over and write this down. But Okay, so I haven't even voiced this yet to anyone. This is, you know, just a dry run of my raw, what would you call it, um, in, in, in vision? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, whatever it is, it was great. So basically, it's about dimensions. And I'm very up on the whole dimension thing, you know. I was very into uh, um, astral travel as a child. I always wanted to do that. Um, my father, you know, he was great to talk to about that. He used to, um, um, well, I was so interested that I would try all the time. And I uh, first tried controlling my dreams and the dream, you know, realization and everything. But then he said something one time where he said, uh, it was only a couple lines and it scared me and I haven't actually really tried it since, was that, um, be careful where you travel when you're, you leave your body because there are things out there that may harm you, your soul, or whatever you are when you're floating around. Anyways, that, to make a long story short, really scared me out of this thing. But then, you know, I just became comfortable with the dimension I was living in and stuff. But anyways, um, it's not, well, it's, I guess, a kind of a background of where I come from, where I'm very educated in the dimension area and everything. And I don't have a very, I don't, I don't do drugs at all, I mean, I just don't have an interest, I don't, they make me actually lose my reality rather than, I just don't understand why people enjoy drugs so much, but I guess it would be the only thing that I would experiment for is to go to other dimensions or, or to try and achieve that, but I think that's fake, like I would rather be able to achieve that myself. But Anyways, tonight, I understand dimensions now. I completely get it. Well, this is my dimension. This is my dimension traveling. I travel all the time. I just realize the feeling now. And um, a book that really helped me out, it's actually a cult, but uh, it was one of my uh, fluke incidences. I went and walked into this bookstore. It was one of the coolest bookstores I've ever had, a million books totally unorganized and I was like send me to the book that I need you know like I do that all the time and of course I picked out the most perfect book for me at the time and it was great and all and it was about it's called the spiritual notebook by it was an ed oh, my bicycle thing hurts I'll show you that after um it was uh uh an Ed Ken car I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, a uh, ritualistic thing. Anyways, so basically they would describe all the dimensions and you know, dimensions are a very big part of religion, like heaven is a, a, a sect, a, di a dimension on the level that, of consciousness that you're at. Are, are, you know, when you're talking one on one to a, okay this is where I'm getting into my dimensions, okay. My understanding, my reality, I've been, I've climbed the dimension pole now that I realize it. Um, okay, there's, in Ekankar, there's this dimension called Kalal, or that's the devil's dimension or something like that. Like, that would be considered hell. And really what I, my dimension is, okay, you know, a lot of people get hooked on traveling, soul traveling, would be a physical where your body is physically there or you can actually see it, but really it's, it's the, this is the key that I came up with, is the brain wave, you, you take your brain 
to another level, another, <laughs> take your brain to another dimension. I love that song. Um, so basically, when I was driving my car today, I was like, okay, I often remove myself from my body. Bad thing to do when you're driving a car, but I don't know why I can, I just pop in and out all the time. Like, I'm not, I'm not there. I just stare off into space, and it's just a natural thing I, I was born with. Like, I'm very, uh, you, know, you know, people are like geniuses on the piano. I'm not saying I'm a genius. I just, like, naturally was able to do that as a kid. I just drift off. And anyways, this is my dimension jumping. I, I, now I'm coming to realize. And for the, the hell, I have been in the hell dimension. It's the dimension of, well, I think depression's a different dimension. It's, it's a mood. It's a brain wave that, you know, you, you get comfortable in your world, you get comfortable in your day-to-day. -day. But with Kalal, it's the devil, it's the anger, it's the hate. That dimension, I've been through that and I've eradicated that. Once you jump out of that level, it's a whole new breath of air. And as for the higher dimensions that you can go, I'm so obsessed with the universe and the stars, and you know what? I traveled there, I guess, when I was in my car tonight. Like, this sounds so weird, but if you do this, you know what I'm talking about. But I can, I can sit in the middle of the universe. At, it's hard. It's hard to get, you know, I guess that would be soul traveling. And I guess I do that all the time. And I guess that's why I stopped, I lost interest in actually doing that is because I just, I was so contented that I guess I already knew that I did it, just realizing now. But to be able to sit in the middle of the universe and to be able to feel unbelievably gigantic and old and older than everything, but feel smaller than nothing and be infinite at the same time. Is that the highest dimension? <laughs> and then to be in the forest riding your bike and feeling like you're connected with everything, I think that's God. That's the God dimension. Is that heaven? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know how long this is, but that is my one dimension rants, I guess. What do you think about that? I had to get that out. I actually raced home, raced upstairs, and, and yes, this is my webcam, and yes, it's shittier than my little, lovely little video camera, but this is when you get the good talks, and yeah, I don't know, and I'm going to make another video response, because I have my first video response. How cool is that? <laughs> okay. Well, I'll stop being the goofy me and um, think about that. Tell me if you jump dimensions too. I mean, I guess I'm just new to the realizing it. Okay, anyways, you like my shirt? Sure. Okay, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye.